What's up everybody, Dure back at it again with another video on Ready or Not, and today we are going to ask the question, is it better than what I played at the event? Well, objectively, yes, it is. There was no more of the announcer constantly talking in my ear and even cutting himself off. The really loud bullet sounds that were in my ear last time were no longer there. The server issues no longer seem to be an issue. I maybe got disconnected like once. You can no longer go through walls. When you handcuff somebody, they don't start running around like they're still not cuffed. The issue where the overlay would actually get stuck up on your your screen if you tried to go to options was dealt with it seems just to name a few this honestly should have been the version that content creators got to show off for the channels because that previous version was pretty bad so yeah overall it's an improvement but it improved so much that we can now see other bugs that might have been there before but maybe we just didn't see it because of all these other bigger issues so i'm gonna go down the list here i also got a couple of uh people from the community to tell me other bugs that they experienced that maybe i didn't so yeah number one hit registration there were certain parts of the body that even if you did hit them it didn't actually cause damage to the other player like the hitbox is like really off it seems like shoulder shots or waist shots didn't seem to affect the other player that you were shooting number two the game desperately needs spawn protection there were so many times when the enemy team would just walk up into the spawn and just gun people down i even did it a couple times myself this is something that feels like a big duh to me like why wouldn't you have this two the ui is hard to navigate and it's extremely laggy now in the event it wasn't that laggy so i'm not sure what they did between then and now but it seems as if the ui that we have now is really laggy like the frames went down on it for some reason and i still dislike the ui i hope they change that four the night vision was kind of weird like it was pulsing through the walls for some reason and it didn't actually work that well like some areas were still dark even though you were wearing the night vision goggles so it obviously didn't work that well five there were textures here and there that were very low poly six there were times when some people would just randomly pop into existence yeah that happened to me quite a few times like anytime that i would come around the corner like some dude would just like come out of nowhere the last time i saw an issue like that was in sky um, I think seven sometimes friendly tags wouldn't pop up and that might have to do with the game randomly auto balancing me to the other team even though it didn't actually switch me over so anytime that I would see some friendlies when it says that I got auto balanced I wouldn't see their name tag making it hard for me to tell whether it's a friendly or bad guy that I'm shooting at especially in the tunnel areas when it's stupid dark eight there were bodies that were falling through the map and hitting the bottom floor it was an interesting looking glitch I was next to that area when I myself fell through the map so i wonder if it has to do with that area me falling through the map is apparently unique because i didn't hear of any other people that actually fell through the map so i wonder if it just had to do with something in that area nine when i fell through the map i left the server because i didn't you know I, I wasn't like respawning and when i tried to get back into the server it was taking forever to get back in so i decided to restart the game and then i got back into the game so that was probably like the one time when i actually had troubles with the u.s server 10 according to a lot of people the shield didn't work bullets would still go through it so when you would put it up and try to face somebody it was all just for show they were saying that when you tried to use the taser with the shield the taser when you would fire it didn't actually fire out a bolt i guess the projectile would disappear 11 some guns didn't shoot i had some of that issue or even though i had like four or five mags like none of them would fire it was as if my gun was jammed i'm not sure if that's supposed to be a feature but if it is it really sucks 12 on spawning the gun would reset my weapon to semi-auto that was extremely annoying Annoying. Like if I wanted to set it to semi-auto, I would change it myself. Don't do that to me game I can't count how many times I've died because I didn't realize that my gun was set to semi-auto I would literally scream in my stream who touched my weapon because it felt like somebody messed with my settings 13 according to some people they didn't actually fix the two mag issue where on spawning You would only come in with two mags instead of like four to five now I didn't have that issue, but it could also be the case because of the horrible UI that they might have actually put their max down to two and didn't realize it but i can't really say for sure 14 the damage indicator that's at the bottom left of the screen might actually be broken because there were times when it would say that you got hit in the chest but your guy would begin to limp that just doesn't make any sense 15
15. Sometimes the HUD would disappear for some people. So you're not able to know how much ammo you have left or if you know what part of your body's actually hurt. It's just not a good thing all around. 16. There was still no default button. So there have been a lot of complaints when people watch my stream that I reload too fast. And that's because I'm quite literally using the only option that I have, which is the fast reload button. Because the game screwed up my controls and I'm not able to put them back to normal. So anytime that I press R, it's just the default to fast reload. I honestly can't remember what regular reload and just looking at the magazine even looks like anymore. So yeah, that was just some of the issues that I can name off. There is much more in the NDA server that I'm unable to really show. I think that if they would have actually given us this version of the game in the NDA server three months ago, we probably would have found all these issues and this multiplayer version would have been much better than what it is now. There are a lot more SWAT players that are actually inside of the NDA server so they could have given their input on this map like i honestly think that it's too like you're running around like a maniac you know what i'm saying like they need to have doors because there's a bunch of tools on your guy that you're not really able to use like what am i going to use c2 for if there's no doors uh, i actually saw a video of someone who's actually played more swap for multiplayer than i have and he actually gave some pretty good suggestions if i remember to find his video i'll put it in the description or at the eye icon at the top right and i also have swap for multiplayer on the channel so you can see what it actually looked like so our multiplayer was still pretty chaotic but at least it actually had more than what was you know featured here so i'll remember to post that hopefully but yeah that's honestly what i thought it's better but it's still not where it needs to be like i honestly don't know if it's actually going to meet that beta time frame they might have to delay it into 2021 just like how i predicted it so what are your thoughts are you someone that played this version of the pvp if you did did you like it or did you wish that there was something better do you think that they're going to meet the beta date because i don't know to be honest this is where i'm going to end it if you're someone that enjoys the fact that i covered tactical games like ready or not then go ahead and comment like and share the video if you're someone that's brand new go ahead and subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like if you're someone that would like to invest in the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye